It is incredibly important for us to understand the drivers and consequences of the money that flows internationally for monetary policy formation. These are important for asset price uh, inflation. It is important that you don't only look at the observed outcomes in exchange rates or quantities of flows, but that you capture the outcomes that might have occurred if you had not had different forms of intervention. We have a theory-based approach that lets us add up quantities of interventions, uh, foreign exchange interventions by central banks, monetary policy changes, and uh, observed uh, exchange rate depreciations. We come up with this combined exchange market pressure index, and we use it to look at the importance of the global factor in international flows, and we use this measure to examine the safe haven, or so-called safe haven status, of different international currencies. We find that the size of the global factor is sometimes five times larger for emerging markets than for some advanced economies. That is, if there's a common occurrence in international markets that, show, that leads money to flow around the world, emerging market currency depreciations could be five times larger than a comparable uh, consequence for some other uh, advanced economy currencies. These global factors uh, relationships change over time. In the post-crisis period, so-called safe haven currencies look a lot different than other advanced economies, and other advanced economy currencies actually move a lot more with the currencies of emerging markets.